Hello, hello, hello. I hope you guys are well. Welcome to the stream. We're going to continue with our Valheim playthrough. So we're just loading into the world and the plan is to upgrade our gear as much as possible with the mats I already grinded, grounded. And then go and beat the crap out of the first boss. Anyway, I hope you guys are well. And again, this is the first time I'm streaming Valheim, so let me know about the volumes of game and myself and then we are just as needed there we go excellent Darth Phoenix how are you it's Zach McCree I hope you guys are well Christian thank you very much for joining the stream now anybody who's watching this on YouTube afterwards we're trying to stream the series we are playing on YouTube every now and then on YouTube so Basically, weekends would suit me the best, so we're gonna try it out this weekend and see how it goes. Now, I have a lot of resources. I spent about two and a half to three hours since the last um, episode grinding for resources. And I have um, collected a lot of wood at a location which is way over there, which I think would make a perfect location for our first base. We're probably gonna have to move a couple of times. And uh, yeah, so let's get cracking like on the upgrade. Um, Zach, also, have you considered trying out any of the other weapons? Yes, I actually like the knife a lot. I just have put everything away because I don't want to lose everything when I die. If I die with the boss, we shouldn't. But, you know, just in case. The knife is pretty awesome, actually, if you don't know it or you haven't tried it yourself yet. When you do middle mouse click on your character, you have a secondary attack. And with the knife, he actually does a jump attack. I might as well show it to you quickly because it's actually pretty awesome. So I think... Where do I have my weapons? Here. So let's have it here quickly. So if you actually press the middle mouse, he does an attack like this, which does over 130 damage to a deer. That is absolutely insane. Now, it's not obviously a fixed amount of damage. It depends if you crit or whatever. But I saw 130 damage um, being done on a deer when I was high when I was sneaking and then jumping into the deer that was actually pretty amazing we also have some more beehives now I only just looted them and we're going to go with the trio here for the most stamina that we need to fight the boss so let's take all that out and let's take that out and this and then we're gonna need some flint because we need to make flint arrows I also spent a considerable amount of time exploring. So on the map, I made some markers. Um, actually, right here, there's copper, and that's the Black Forest as well. And there's loads of little villages around, and all of the houses, actually, even the ones... We missed a couple of uh, houses that had actually chests in the last episode in it. And they all had either money or flint arrows in it, which is amazing. They do seven more damage than my normal arrows. So we're going to craft a couple of more flint arrows, because as soon as I picked one up, it gave me the recipe for them. So we're going to do a leather tunic. We're going to do leather pants. And what do we need for flint arrows? Oh, wood, of course. Uh, duh. So we need wood as well. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Okay. There we go. And we're going to make a couple of more flint arrows. 20. Yeah, let's, let's make about until we have about 140. Um, we have a lot of feathers. We shoot birds for them. There we go. Um, Rick Adams, how are you, Ricky? Um, Earl Joyst, welcome to the stream. You found the chat. I'm glad you did. And yeah, thank you so much for the $3.99. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, oh my God, twice in a single day. Yes, you see, the weekends would be great for streaming. I just think it's really handy if we can do that. And, um, yeah, we, we, we go from there. You're happy you get to watch live? Well, thank you for coming in and for joining the stream. And it's going to be about an hour and a half, two hours. We'll see how far we get, if we get bored, if we find something exciting to do. There is a lot to do, actually, in this game. I mean, a lot. So we could probably play for 20 hours and still not have everything done. So let's actually put these clothes on, which should take these off. There we go. And that increases our armor. Um, can we make the bigger wooden shield? We need more wood. Okay, that's fine. Let's get more wood. And let's put the flint back. 
and let's get more wood. Excellent. The tower shield, and we also can make... Can we not make the back? The deer hide cave. Oh, we need bones for that. Um, I met a couple of skeletons, but only three in total, so not really a lot for bones. But there we go. That's for our arrows, and... Let's see what else we can do. There's something else we can do that I wanted to do. What was it? Yes, upgrade. So one of the things that I wanted to quickly do was upgrade was my building hammer, which I left in the base. Because I'm a nink and poop. There we go. So let's put that on quickly. One of the things I wanted to build was this here. So we need 15 more flint. There we go. Let's take half of that. And that will upgrade our base a second time. Our workbench a second time. So we're just going to slap it here somewhere. I don't know how close it has to be. Okay. Oh, okay. So we can put it here. Oh, okay. Great. We can put it right here. Just not too close. Brilliant. So now our workbench should be level 3. Which is amazing because now hopefully we can upgrade our bow a few times. So it goes to 25 damage. Is it now? Yes. And we can upgrade it again. Beautiful. Now it does 28 damage. And I think that's 28 base damage. And then the extra damage from the flint arrowheads should be perfect. So most say that the round shield is better. Now, the big shield makes you slower. So there is a balance to be had with shields. Now, unless there's a bug. But if, say everything works as expected... There is a balance. Um, your movement penalty with the big tower shield is 20. For your round shield, it's 5. But only when you have it equipped. But of course, when you fight a boss, you want it equipped. Now, to be fair, the first boss is actually extremely easy. It's just down to timing with your shield. So you could go with the bigger shield if you feel you need it. I don't think we need it. You're right. So we're probably going to try with the small shield and see how it goes. So let's see. Can we upgrade anything else with the gear? Um... We need bones for that. Actually, if we have more flint, absolutely. I can do my axe again, even though we're probably going to get a better axe. But we get resources, no problem. So let's upgrade this. And does th I think that does 30 damage now, is it? Slash damage. Yeah, that is amazing. This axe is so much better than the club. What I really hope they're going to do is that they are making it that... You know the way when you hit with a club, um, a tree... I think it's a big tree. It does do, it does zero damage, yeah. And I think I hope they're gonna do that with the axe. That when you hit an enemy with an axe, it does zero damage, because otherwise I think it makes the club pretty redundant in in the early game. You can't believe the game has already sold over a million copies. Yes, it is unbelievable. This game looked at first like suspect because it's like hmm, the graphics, you know, pretty pixelated but that's really good actually because it it's performing so well i mean i can have half the forest cut down and it's performing absolutely fantastic okay let's put everything here as backup so if we die at least we have a little bit of armor we have a club which only does 12 blunt damage you know it's i don't know it probably does more dps in total because maybe it's faster i have no clue really and we're gonna leave this here and we're going to put the wood back. So we're fully geared. We have a good weapon. We have a good shield. What can we do to upgrade our shield, actually? Can we upgrade it? What would that involve? Oh, I actually have that. So I definitely think we should upgrade our shield as well. So let's get some resin quickly. There we go. And upgrade shield. Excellent. So now... The movement speed penalty is still the same, but blocking is going to go up by 5, which is amazing. Oh, yeah, we're out of leather scraps now, and then we could do it again. That is amazing. Yeah, we, we can upgrade so much. That is so cool. Okay, yeah, let's just leave that here for now. It doesn't really matter. There you go. Excellent. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the last food to start blinking. This one lasts 1,200 seconds. This one lasts uh, 1,000 uh, 1, seconds, so we're going to take more food, um, the other food now in a second there we go so let's go summon the bad boy and see if we can defeat him oh i can also customize my shield that's correct yes we um we can make it colored i don't know if you can do it during an upgrade actually i haven't paid attention to this now but i know you can do it when you craft a shield 
Oh yeah, mining iron. I believe it can attract trolls. Um, okay, the sun is going down. Maybe we just take a good nap. Get that refresh bonus again. That rested bonus. And then go from there. Yeah, I've been jumping between worlds. So the reason you see my arrested bonus being here and actually getting nighttime, I have been jumping between worlds. I have a farming world, which I created. To be honest, I'm not going and say from here all the way to over here to find more boars or to find uh, more deer. So what I did is I just created a new world and moved my character into the new world and then just basically farmed all the pigs in the starting area and all the deer. And um, then you log out there, you log back in here and you get all the skins. That saves so much time. So unless they're going to start putting restrictions on that, I think it's an absolute perfect valid way of having a farming kind of world in your own personal world and then come back here to continue playing your world where you actually want to build your base and defeat all the bosses and, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a good time with the stream, Ricky. Um, Fire arrows. Um, I actually don't know how to make them. Um, I know I can make them, but I never looked really into it. What damage do they? I mean, they do burning damage, obviously, as well. I mean, we still can make some just to try them out. Absolutely. I mean, there we go. We have enough fe we have feathers. And we have... Um, do we have more wood? Yeah, sure. Look. I mean, we do increase damage. Oh, whoops. We do increase damage is that now so this should take no time at all to get some wood there you go four hits yeah actually still takes four hits it takes took four hits already before the upgrade so i'm surprised it still takes four hits but look at this average 20 damage that is pretty insane oh whoops oh hello there you want to hit i want to see how it can block you don't want to hit Okay. We also got raided while I was grinding. Um, it wasn't anything spectacular. Basically, the boss, while you have him active, I think, on the map, before you fight him, he uh, rallies all the anim animals of the forest. And I had pigs and uh, tails, these tail guys, like these salamanders or whatever they are, attack me. And it was great. It was like free food service. It was like takeaway in the middle of the forest. So um, anyway, let's see if we can make some fire arrows. There we go. And can we make another one? Yeah, sure. And that's it. Yeah, 40 should be enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these. They only do 11 damage, but 22 fire. So that's 33 damage, theoretically. So let's put them here. And what we can do is when we have the arrow in our hand, we can swap between the two of them. So this will shoot fire arrows. There you go. And then this will shoot the normal arrow. There you go. So it's pretty cool. I love that feature. It's like really well thought out. I mean, the guys really put a lot of thought into balancing this game, I think. Okay, so let's go and sleep. Um, What made me switch streaming services? Nothing really, because I'm still going to stream on Twitch. But I find it really difficult sometimes to stream the games I play on YouTube on Twitch and then record them at the same time so I can cut a video together. So I thought, you know, if I have a series on YouTube, and I stream it as in a continuation of that series, as in part three, you know, whatever, part four. Oh, it's very foggy as well. That's so scary. This is going to be amazing. Um, you know, it would be handy to just do it on YouTube if that works and do it that way, basically. And then that way you have episode one, two, three, maybe edited. And then episode four is like a two hour stream. Episode five is six, seven, another edited video, you know, so... I think it would be handy. And then other games we don't play on YouTube, we can continue streaming on Twitch. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Okay, let's leave that here. And yeah, I don't think we need... Yeah, we have normal arrows still on us as well, so that's okay. Let's go. Let's go. It's gonna be scary pants. Uh, the bees are going fine. I actually, I get um, two, three honey every now and then. So it's, it's pretty cool. I really like it. I'm going to make a big bee farm. I'm definitely going to make sure I'm going to gather as many bee queens or queen bees that I can. So let me just check something quickly. I want to make sure I'm not actually watching my own stream. Because otherwise we're going to have some download upload errors. Sorry about that. There we go. 
So here we are. Scary Pants Town. Oh, I forgot the trophies. Yeah, we have to go back and get the trophies. Sorry about that. You see, that's the downside of streaming. You can't edit that out now. Um, we need two trophies. I have loads of them. I even have a skeleton trophy. At least we can refresh on the raspberries then. Very good. And I already have a tail trophy as well. There you go. And I have a skeleton trophy. So we need two of them, I think. Is it two? Ah, let's take four just in case. I forgot. Do we have any honey? Yeah, we have some honey. But the honey doesn't last as long. Honey only has, I think, 400 seconds. Okay. Nobody attacking. Good, 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 good. Let's go, 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 go. Um, all you have ever seen is people killing boys. Yeah, it is. It is a grindy game to be honest But I think because you can leverage the worlds It's very easy just to create a new world hop on with your, with your existing character who keeps all your weapons all the inventory You have on him and just literally start taking out half the forest, you know that you where you spawn Delete the world create a new world. It's, it's very handy Like if you want to farm a huge amount of resources very quickly just to create a new world. So yeah, it's not a big whoop Okay, uh, should we get rid of some of the trees here? I think we should because this is going to absolutely bite us in the canoodle we don't have to destroy them but at least make a little bit of room we're gonna try out the arrows but I also want to test Mela against the big boy okay Whew, let's do it Where is he? Where is he? Oh, it's getting dark. It's getting scary pants. I told you it's getting scary pants. There he is. Okay. Where are you hiding? Oh, he's he's burning. We actually can pluck this damage. So I think it's actually better to play with Mela. And then we can switch to arrows when he goes far away. And then switch back to bows and arrows. There we go. There we go. Nice. So this is actually working really, really well. We're losing no health. We're doing absolutely fantastic. Let's take out another tail meat in. Oh, this is beautiful. I've seen a couple of videos where people are ch uh, trying to find ways of cheesing the bosses. Like, as in, you know, build a little tower, jump on top, he can't reach you. And I'm just like, yeah, that's really awesome. And I actually was going to do that as well. But then I was thinking, hang on, these bosses actually have tactics. And I think this is really awesome from the developers that they actually gave the bosses tactics and tells on the on the next attack they're going to do. And basically giving away ways of defeating him. Oh, quick. So you don't have to. Ah, okay, that was bad timing. But we have good armor on. We're actually doing really well. So... Oh, you little git. Okay, we're gonna kill him with a fire arrow, I think. Burn, baby, burn. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Oh, the dot is beautiful. You're right. The fire damage is just amazing. And there you go. He's down. Excellent. So let's actually not be right there and see what he drops. So it's amazing, once you know the tactics, it's so easy peasy, and also if you don't rush it. So we got the helmet, we got the antlers, we got the recipe now for the pickaxe, which we need to make dig down to the ground. So let's actually get rid of the tree stump as well.
Yeah, that was another thing. Um, return to the Sacrifice Stone with your Forsaken Trophy and offer it to the Sacrifice. Yeah, we're going to do that now. Okay. I have to go back here. Actually, we need some more tails, so it would be really handy if I could just get some tails from you guys. Do you have a tail for me? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know we both said some things we regret. Okay, fine. Be like that. Um, yeah, sorry. That was another thing I was worried about because um, I wanted to kind of address because a lot of people don't use Twitch. They actually stay on YouTube. They watch on YouTube and they always seem to miss out and only see the edited versions. So I was kind of hoping that if we do the streams that people don't complain and they didn't say, oh, I don't like these long episodes, that they actually get some you know, joy out of it. That would be great. Let's put this back. And this is the antlers we need to make an axe, I think. Okay, so we're going to put the good arrows away again now. There we go. We're going to keep these ones, put these ones away. And we're going to get the hammer out again because we're going to need it. We're going to take the knife out again. And we're going to need the hoe as well. Yes, that's it. Good. Okay. Let's put that away and then hang up the trophy. Yeah, we're building a raft. That's actually the next point I'm going to get to. The location I picked, I think, is going to be sweet for building our first base. Well, we're going to be living here for a while and sleeping between the two spots until the base is finished. So it's not going to be something we built today because it's a bigger base. And base building in this game is trickier than you think because everything has um, weight. And not like Seven Days to Die, for example, where only like Seven Days to Die where you can, for example, build vertically. Uh, sorry, horizontally, you can go horizontal and eventually it can't carry any more weight and it will collapse. But in this game, it also counts vertically. So if I put a block down and then put another block on top and another block on top and another block on top, eventually the top, top block can't carry any more weight. That's it. So it's really amazing, actually. Um, oh, what is that? Rest the location. Yeah, we're going to do that next time. So let's sacrifice. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Woo! Okay, we gonna we can kill him again and summon him again, so we get more of those antlers if we need to. And now we get a special power that's activated. And on the bottom right now, we can see this is our power. And with F, that's the default key, we can activate it. And that will give us then the buff that makes our jumps cost 60% less, our stamina. So it's really good when you're fighting something unexpected and you find yourself low on stamina you're gonna have to do a legger you know and maybe do some pot shots from a distance very very handy you have been granted the power of ekthir use it in times of need yes exactly um yeah thank you so much you're very good how does it feel now that sandy is a social media star <laughs> yes my dog sandy she's she's asleep downstairs um well she's on the couch with the rest of the family watching tv Sir Strafe, how are you? Welcome to the stream. So, um, can I pick that back up? No, so I have to actually slot him again. Now, can I get... Oh, that's register his location. So, does it not give me... Huh. So, to get the next location. That's something I haven't figured out yet. So, this is the next guy. Yeah. First of the forest, king in the wood, lord over those who dwell at his feet... His roots will grow where cities once stood. Their blood is wine, their flesh is meat. So I'm assuming it's the Black Forest. But I guess he's not giving us the location that it's... I thought that maybe this would start giving us the next location or something. Really? You're just going to sit there and mock... I knew it. I knew it. You're lucky I have a bad aim. Um, yeah, so that's that. Let's go over to the other area. Bring a little bit of food with us. Where's all my food? Here. So we're going to take that. We're going to take these. I'm going to take half of that. And we can come back for these once we figure out farming. Let's. Um, I don't know if there's a limit on the honey, but I'm just going to empty it just in case. go and now let's make a pickaxe i think we need some flint for that 
pickaxe. Where's the pickaxe? Antler pickaxe. We have the antlers. We need just some wood. Okay, that's actually perfect. There you go. Boom. Nice. Okay. Let's um, put the axe here. And now we can dig holes into the ground. Can we upgrade the axe? Actually, we can't. We can upgrade the flint axe if we go to level 4. That's amazing. Did we unlock anything else actually to go to level 4? No. So now we're going to have to explore. We reached the limit now pretty much on what we have, except for building a raft. So let's actually figure out quickly what we need for that. Yeah, we need to take some resin with us and whatever scrap we have left, and then we're going to get some more boars. There we go. And the resin as well. Yeah, let's take it all. Why not? Let's go! Can we take the stone? Or is it going to be too heavy? Nope, we're doing okay on weight. And we're going to take that. Excellent. Beautiful. Let's go. So where we're going is up here, where I died. It shows you the last death marker. You can't actually remove it. And that's where Gunther died for the first time. Oh, when you go into a dungeon, you get the location for the next boss. Good. I think the dungeon's in the Black Forest, isn't it? Uh, Black Forest is rich in minerals. They can find copper in the ground and tin lining near the ocean. I know. I already have them marked. I found them. Now go forth and strike the earth. Okay. We will do so. So this is really a lot of fun. Now, I already collected a lot of wood, uh, but I don't think it's going to be enough to actually get anything done. Um, one of the tricky parts in this game is to get the terrain exactly the way you want. So we have our hoe with us to level the ground, but it doesn't really level level it. It kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. I'll show you now in a second what, it, what I mean. There we go. Brendan, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So basically, um, I have a farming world that I use to just completely farm every animal in the starting area. And I would just delete that world and then recreate it, call it farming world again. And, you know, stay there until I'm done with it. And it's very handy as well if you have minerals. So you could have actually a mining world as well where you have some more minerals that you haven't used yet and you kind of swap between it. Because you join the world where you left off. So if I log out here, I log back in here. But if I log back into another world, I can completely over-encumber my character with like 500 kilos of stuff. And then I can just swap worlds, get here, go, go to the chest and dump it all in. So there's ways of doing it. This is all the wood I collected. So far, I think this is about 960 pieces of wood in total. And this is the beginnings of our base. But I needed that. So let's actually see. Let's put this away. Leave the wood on us. Put this away. Leave the stone here. Okay. Let's put the stone here. Okay. And now, let's see if we can actually get rid of the rune stone. Nope, we can't. We can't actually hit the root stone. Nope. Okay, fair enough. Let's straighten out the ground again. Okay, so what I mean by the leveling doesn't really work. So the way leveling works in general, as far as I understand it, is wherever you stand, that is the measure. So if I go over here now, it should flatten this area to the same level than the level I'm standing on. So if I basically do that without walking, everything around me now becomes that level that I'm standing on. But that doesn't 100% work because if I go over here now, I can't get the ground over there to actually go any lower. For some reason, it just won't go lower. I can't unearth this um, plate. It just won't let me. So what we have to do with that is we're gonna have to get hardcore and we're just gonna have to make one big hole and then we have to raise the ground, basically. Again. So we do that. And then we can take the 
hoe again. And now we should be able to, to raise it. There you go. Just enough to cover the plate. If it's blue, it means you're actually touching the ground and that's what you want. You just want to make sure this is exposed, that it's not full of dirt, but still blue so that it's actually lying on the ground. That's kind of what you want to do. So let's get some wood. It's 50 wood here. Oh, we picked it up. Good. Um, I don't consider that really a bad thing, to be honest, Jumping Worlds, because it's a, it's an intentional... It's, it's intentionally built into the game. Like, I can go to any server and continue with my character and then hop back. It, I mean, if my friends play on one server and I want to spend time with them, I can go there, continue leveling, get some stuff, and then log back into my world and continue playing. It's an intentional design, so... If people abuse it, that's actually good in a way because it means the developers can look at it and go, okay, maybe we don't let you carry inventory back and forth. For example, you know? So that way you can still join the world with your friends, you know, with your maybe the first row of gear or something. I don't know, you know? Or you have to build weapons again. Your friends should give you the materials. I have no idea. I'm just saying they could put certain limits into play. Uh, stone can be used to level the ground. That's... Um, it, it can be used to raise the ground. It's cheaper, actually, to um, material-wise to just dig a hole with the pickaxe and then l uh, level the ground with the hole by using the level option because it doesn't cost anything because raising the ground costs stone. And you also need the workbench near you. Th this one, you don't need the workbench. So it's kind of cheaper in the long run um, on the resources. But anyway, so what the plan is to build a little bit more out here to this side. And we want to make sure we stay topped up. There we go. And build more floorboards. It's blue. Excellent. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I would say, across. Now, there is it's double doors, a gate you can do, yeah? And you can actually make the gate two but the annoying part is that oh okay we probably have to turn this around then and um, but the annoying part is it takes two slots and we all know that you need uneven numbers when you're making a gate when you're making any type of you know door no it's just the way it is so if you want a gate it has to be three wide you can't make it too wide it just i don't know it just doesn't look nice we, ne we need a three wide gate Um, Corey Machowski, how are you? Yes, this is a live stream. So we're going to be going on with this game for about another hour, hour and a half. You're playing Valheim right now, Wicked. Awesome. Okay. So let's um, focus and try to see what we can do. So I think seven out is fine and we're gonna go nine out this way maybe nine or twelve I think so let's get the center actually so one two three four five six seven so one two three and then here is the center so now we can build this and lower the earth and we know exactly where to go now I'm not gonna build for a long long time I'm just gonna do a little bit and then we're gonna build a raft and go into the sea, which is right behind us. That's why I want to build here. And then we're gonna check out the sea. So there we go. Let's flatten this. We can stand here and see how far we can get it. If not, we're just gonna build a big trench and raise it back up. Yeah, that's that flattening is just not really working. I think it's not working the way think it's intended anyway it's getting too dark so why don't we see if we can build um, some torches along the way we need some resin there we go and here we go and we can put one right here we can put one right here there we go 
Nice bright area. Beautiful. Let's go to bed. Oh, we need the fire on nearby. There we go. And um, what about the way you're facing? Maybe it makes a difference. I'm not sure. We're going to play around with it. Under the sea. Yes, we're going into the sea. <laughs> yeah, we, we're going to play mostly by daylight. I didn't mean to be that long. Um, there we go. So the campfire makes everything very smoky. It's going to be bright now soon, so we should be okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to play around a little bit with that hole to let's see so if i face this way see if i get closer it doesn't lower it at all you can see it here on the plank the plank stays completely hidden it's just not doing it so what we have to do is there we go and that's actually perfectly fine. So you can actually do that as a perfect valid way. You just have to be careful. If you hit twice in the same spot, it will go deeper. But if you manage to go exactly to the edge where you just finished hitting, it will stay the same exact level as what you just did. It might go down a little bit more, but that's the hole then should be able to deal with the rest of it. So let's actually get some stone. Ah, balls. You see, now I went a little bit low. Because I missed the rock. Okay, that's all the stone. So, but now what we can do is we can take the hoe and raise it all up again. There we go. Nice. As long as we keep always moving forward a little bit to the edge of where we just dug, it pretty much stays straight. Okay, so now this one here is probably floating. No, it's actually still blue. Very good. But now this will raise the ground to straighten it. There you go. Perfect. You see the way it actually flattens the whole terrain there in the back. You can see how it does that. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. The calculations for the terrain is just beautiful. You can see every single pixel move like that's oh it's amazing. So and I think that's why it takes so long to flatten everything because it goes calculates literally to about here or something everything it has to lower. Like we hit here you can actually see shading changing over here. Yeah, you can see it there. Look at this. That is amazing. That explains why it takes so long, actually, to flatten it. And all you need is stamina, which is great. So it takes a while. So let's keep, go let's keep going here in the middle. And see if we can make the 9 white. 9 or 12. I mean, 12 would be nice, actually. It's blue. Great. Oh. We're missing wood. Huh? No. What are we missing? Oh, the workbench. Yes. Okay. So what we have to now is we have to build multiple workbenches along the way so we can um, continue building. Okay. So the current workbench ends... Here, where's the current workbench finishing? Let me see. Okay, it's finishing actually right here. Okay, as long as we stand in the circle, we can keep building. Okay, so right here, so the next workbench, we probably should just build on top of the wood here or something. Let's put it right here for now.
Can we get it to? Nah, we have to dig more holes. Watch out for screamers here. <laughs> Yeah, watch out for stra for screamers, exactly. So this is going slightly uphill, so we might want to give it a little dig here. It's not perfect, but that's why you can level it out then. There you go. See if we can just go ahead and make a big tunnel here. All the way through. Okay. Perfect. So where are we at now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this is green. This is not good. Green basically means it's not touching the ground. And that is very, very important. So when you build here, say we put a wall here. Yeah, the wall is green. The next one is green. But then the one after that, I think becomes slightly less green or whatever. Let's see if we can manage to get one on top. Uh, we can just put one here. You see the way that goes yellow? Now on this piece, it's green already. So the second piece is already going slightly yellowish. So it's, it's definitely going darker. So between the two here, this one is more yellow red than this one. This one is still yellow green. So this one is less, less durable and will break earlier than this one. And that is because this piece is not grounded. So this is floating in the air. It's not attached to the ground. So the way to fix that is hopefully with the hole. So if we're going to go here now and raise the ground, hopefully. There you go. Now it's blue. And that means if we go here, these should be the same color. There you go. Now it's green. And that's what I mean about the physics system. I find this so much better than in 7 Days to Die. Because in 7 Days to Die, I can actually build 250 blocks on top of each other. Because it only counts horizontally the blocks that are carried yeah well horizontally and of course if you're free falling like horizontally and you go up then obviously up as well it counts as well but what i'm saying is if you have a ground piece you can theoretically build as high as you want meanwhile here in this game you can't it will eventually go red even if you're stuck on top of each other and that makes building bases here very interesting because it limits the size you can build by default which is great Oh, very nice. Now we can continue. We have to just make sure that all these blocks are blue. And that's all we care about. Just let me catch up with chat there for a second. Can you dig, dig, dig and make an underground base? No, you can't. Because the way they've done it is, and I think it's because of multiplayer, is I can only um, go deep. I can go deeper. So I can show you later, yeah, when we dig a big hole somewhere else that's not here. But it basically will always remove every single piece of terrain in front of you down to the level you are at. So it will always make a complete trench. It will not allow you to dig a tunnel. So if I'm going to literally would stand here on the same spot and keep going down, 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 and then I go a step forward and say I have like a meter a high, two meters, three meter high cliff, it literally would break down everything that's in front of me down to the level I'm at. That's just because I have the rock here in front of me. Let's destroy that quickly. So if I do this now, it will remove everything in front of me. Absolutely everything. Not just what is right in front of me, but no matter how high it is. Well, I don't know if there's a limit, but they, you can't also go, in, go down indefinite. You have to... Um, you can only go down, I think, to a certain max level, and then it just stops going further down.
Exactly, you need a good strong base flooring. That's exactly right, yeah. Hell for gamers, how are you? So we can do an initial trench with this and then we just flatten it out with um, our hole. You see, it's already going uphill a little bit again, but it's already much easier to flatten with the hole than it was before. So let's actually see what we have. That definitely is something we still have to destroy. Might as well do a little bit extra because this is going to be very wide anyway, our base. Okay, so let's see. How are we getting on? Let's stay here. Flatten this. Yeah, you can see all the colors changing over there. It's amazing. It, it recalculates so many um, terrain changes and it does it so quickly. And that's why the low pixel art is actually perfect for this. Okay, our, our stamina is, uh, sorry, our durability is out. So let's see if we can build a couple of more. There we go, nice. Come on. Oh yeah, now we're going underground. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Hmm. No, hang on. Oh, we found some water. Wow. That's amazing. You can actually get to water. Yeah, this one here just wouldn't come down. There we go. Now we can do that. Excellent. Let's repair everything. Let's make another workbench if we can. Put it right here for now. Um, I don't know what happens when you remove the workbenches. So I only need the workbenches to build. But say I'm finished building, yeah? I remove all the workbenches. I don't know if that means now I have a huge chance of high decay in single player that basically my base can completely deteriorate really, really fast. And the workbench is only protecting the area. So I think eventually you want workbenches really covering your whole area, to be honest. Um, just to make sure. But yeah, it's something I don't know yet. Make sure we can raise that. Beautiful. And they're all blue. Excellent. So how many more do we have? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's it. Excellent. So we reached the end. Where our base is going to be. Beautiful. Yeah, we're going to leave this open here. See if we can fill up a couple of things already. Yeah, this is definitely going to be covered. And now we're just going to have no more wood left. Excellent. So let's put the stone back and let's go and build the raft. Yeah, wrong chest. Here we go. Beautiful. Great wall of Vikings. Yes. Oh, you wish digging up the yard was as simple in real life. Yes, I couldn't agree more. That would be amazing. I would be doing so much more garden work than I am doing. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to build a raft. We need six scraps. So we need to kill a couple of boars. The 20 wood is not a problem at all. And we have actually some ores, uh, some boars over here. I think I saw some boars this direction. Or is that... Deers. Oh, that's just deers. Yeah, we're not going to chase down deers right now. We don't really care. 
But if it comes down to it and we just can't find any boars, we're just going to literally swap world, end of story. And, and this Because this is the one thing. I'm not going to go looking forever for boars. That's not going to happen. <laughs> when I eventually want to build a farm, yeah, sure. That's no problem. There we go. There's some boars there. Oh, nice. One hit, actually, at this stage. Wow. There you go. We have a scrap here. We get, I think scraps is 100%. Meat is like a little bit of a chance. There was another one here somewhere. Where are you gone? Saw you a second ago. I think they do respawn, but not in the start. Sorry, nothing actually spawns near where you build. So I do think they respawn, just not beside our buildings anyway. We might as well actually head over this direction because there is a stone circle here I want to dig a hole in to see what this is about. And the copper vein is here in the black forest, so we might as well check that out quickly. Oh, hello. Thank you. Get some resin. And yeah, here's the big stone formation, yeah? Now, there is some stone formations which look like big, huge, elongated stone formations. And they actually have treasure, which is awesome. So, but these ones here, I wonder if there's something right here in the middle. So, I can show you this actually now, what the, how that works. So, if we build a, just a giant hole here. You see the way it stays... Like, we can go deeper. Okay, let's go deeper. And I just want to have a way out again, so I'm not going to go too deep in one spot. But you can already see, it's actually not uh, building a tunnel. It's not. It's literally making the whole wall the same level that I am right now. Oh, crap. Ay, ay, ay. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a... Is that a big boy that throws things? Yeah, he was a big boy. Okay, so... Let's see if there's anything in this direction. Yeah, we're near the Black Forest. Like, that's why we have to deal with these guys now. But our axe is so powerful right now. Yes, we even got an eye. Now, one thing that confuses me is they drop Great Dwarf eyes, but they're not called Great Dwarfs, I think. So why do they have someone else's eyes? Anyway, I want to see what's if there's anything with these stone formations. are just so suspect. I mean, there has to be something here. It's just so weird the way they look. Oh, do you know what? Maybe that is a location of one of the gods. I have no idea. One of the spirit things we have to kill. Yeah. Maybe. That could be. Beware of... Ow! Mother of testicles. There's this guy. This guy in his throwing. You're like a little infant throwing your toys. There you go. Okay, let's head up here. There's also one of those uh, guys called a Brute. He's pretty hardcore. He definitely is hardcore. Okay, it's getting nighttime now, so why don't we get a little bit of ore and then skedaddle. Okay, here we go. This is the copper ore. That's what it looks like. has a big label on it saying copper ore. Did we not get any copper ore? Hmm. Oh, nice. So it actually does get destroyed just like um, the ground. That is awesome. Oh, Hail Warrior. What do you want? Raw ore needs to be refined in the smelter before you can work it uh, at a forge. To build a smelter, you will need circling cores. Search for them in the dark places beneath the earth. Oh, crap. Okay, we have a problem. These guys are coming in groups now. 
Okay, let's actually see. Can we chop down fir trees? Do they give me a different type of wood? Let's see what type of wood we get. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay, what do we get? We get a couple of more ice. We get some more wood. What is that? Copper ore. That's the copper ore. Can't be teleported. Oh, teleportation. Is that when we go from world to world? So it won't let you carry copper ore. That's interesting. Oh, new material. A fear cone. Oh, nice. Uh, the stone, ow! The stone won't collapse, actually. Um, they will just fall. So if you dig a hole underneath rocks... Oh, these big stones. No, they, they won't get destroyed either. So the way stone works is it literally just um, falls to the ground. Like anything else, the trees as well. They don't get destroyed. Okay, that's just normal wood. Okay. Wood, wood, and then we have the cones now. Okay, is there any new recipes here? No. I think we should go home because it's getting very dark now. Maybe get a little bit more ore. Do we have resin on us? Yes. And yeah, this game is still in early access, but as far as I know, they started this a while ago, this game, like uh, over two years ago or something. I think the first gameplay we saw from people was last year. I think Splattercut actually covered it as well last year already. And it looked completely different. So they obviously had the huge alpha or whatever they had and took a lot of feedback from people. Okay, we're actually reaching our limit here, I think. How heavy is, is ore? 70 wow they were 10 each that is pretty insane okay okay we got three more oh holy crack apple ow okay we need the sheep what the hell ah okay there's too many whoa whoop okay now we hit f and see you later. Goodbye. Wow. It's like uh, their whole family and their mother. Genie, Maca Balls. Oh, you're stuck. Don't be stuck. That's like silly. Okay, come on. Your stamina is supposed to go up, 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 up. Yeah, we're definitely going to skedaddle here on that. There we go. And let's see. <laughs> Shoot you in the face. Bam. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're gonna have to go back home. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me pick up the loot. So if we get them all, if they all can get a hit off, and we can dodge it, then we can hit them. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Run, 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 run. Ah, now we have deers also attacking us. No, 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 no. 
Yeah, we're gonna get them. Don't worry. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get some stamina back. And then we're gonna throw... Uh, ah! Oh, you dodged. Did I get one? Yeah. Let's get the loot. Let's get the loot. You're gonna be amazing. Just keep the stamina going. Keep the stamina going. Right in the face. Just one at a time. Let's concentrate. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on. Ah, oh, they're right between the middle. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ow! That was not good. Okay, come on. Easy there, easy there. Just keep an eye on the stamina. Ah, oh, they've thrown the rocks. I keep forgetting about that. Come on. There we go, and one more. Actually, let me try something. Ah, yes, gotcha. There we go, look at that, easy peasy. <laughs> ah, super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> Sorry, I totally had ignored chat and everything. Yeah, I have the copper ore marked on the map, absolutely. Totally, yeah. I did that actually originally when I came across it the first time. So, let's get out the fire so we can see a little bit better. And let's go home, get some sleep. But that was good. I like it. So, I like that this game has allows you to use, like, kind of tactics. Even if they're cheesy, like running in circles or whatever. But you have to continuously just tap, 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 space... Because, because you or shift because you can't just continuously run but you kind of have to balance the running you know with the stamina and all that so there is a fine balance to it come on don't run away you like my fiery stick oh actually I, I need that Okay, here we go. Let's go home. A hundred wood arrows shoot at the ground will still uh, up your bow skill. Yeah, absolutely. That's true. I don't want to scare him. There we go. I want to beat him to death. Excellent. And now we have enough scrap to make a raft in the morning. Sweet. Anything else? Anybody? No? Good. Put some meat on. Now oh, we only have the one meat. Can we get some tail meat here? That would be pretty handy, actually. Nope. I mean, she's not getting any tail. Yeah, absolutely. You can. There's actually f uh, fire. Uh, what was uh, fire sparks? Yeah. You should check his channel out like he does a lot of great tips videos and uh, one of them is he built a training center which is actually pretty cool i think i'm gonna copy that i, I literally but i will call it the the fire spark training center or something because i copied it literally from him i will i will copy it from him and it's like a building that has everything you need in it to train up your skills or certain skills like you know uh, very easily like you know with fire nearby so you constantly get a good stamina flow so it's a very clever design i really like it so, let's go to sleep. 
Um, I think the, fi uh, the the monsters will take fire damage. All right. Also, I hope the quality of the stream will be good because we are um, streaming at twenty five thousand kilobits per second, which is literally four K stream requirements. But because it's YouTube, I wanted to go over the top with. Um, well, 4K is anything between uh, up to 50,000 or 80,000. So I went with 25,000 um, because that is actually the lower end of 4K. But it hopefully will be enough to make 1080p look okay, if you know what I mean. So let's see. What's the damage? Yeah, we can't do that yet. So, hmm. How do we get a forge again? It doesn't tell us here, does it? Let me see the entry again. Um, invasion or circling cores in the dark places beneath the earth. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to somehow randomly um, do do a big hole. And that is to plant more trees. Okay. Let's put everything away. There we go. Now we need a raft. So we need the fire. We need the scrap. And we need this scrap. And we need some wood. And what else did we need? Resin. Okay. I don't know if I want to take everything with me just in case I die out on sea because I'm assuming if I die out on sea I will not get my items back simple as that so I think I'm gonna leave all my food here I'm just gonna wait for this to calm down a bit until the chicken starts blinking and then we're just gonna eat all these three and the rest we leave here yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do so let's build a raft Okay. Ow! Okay. Hmm. Okay. How does it work? Oh. Use the rudder. Okay, so that's to turn. The wind is... Ah, okay, okay, okay. So... It's this way. Oh. Okay, I get it. I get it. So it's kind of a little bit reverse with the going forward. And then we have to turn into the wind. Okay. Can we pull the sail in? Can we anchor this bad boy somehow? Well, let's leave him here. Hopefully that won't float away. And we're gonna have to leave all our stuff here as well. Okay, here we go. Eat, eat, eat. Make another chest. Oh, whoops, what did I click? F5. Oh, instead of 5, I pressed F5. Okay. Make another chest. What do we need? More wood. Okay, let's leave all the armor here as well. I'm going to go as naked as possible. I have a, if, I have a real problem if I'm going to die. And I don't want to take my good axe with me. I'm going to take... I'm going to make a club. And I'm going to take that.
What do we need to make a club? Oh yeah, club I can put on me. Um, just wood. Okay. Actually, we can make a stone axe um, and use that instead because it's stronger than my club anyway. Do you need a sail? Well, it seems to have a sail already on it. Um, we just have to figure out how to move the boat. So the way it seems to work is that if you press forward, it actually goes backward. No, it goes forward. Okay. Oh, we have wind behind us. That's why. So we just have to turn it. Ah, no, 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 no. It takes damage. Why? Why? Oh, crap. How am I going to turn it away? Oh, okay. I get it, I get it. So, if I press forward, the, the, the sail is going down. And if I press backwards, the sail is going up. Okay, that makes sense. There you go. So open the sail a little bit. And then move it so we uh, have the wind kind of behind us. Okay. Open up more. Good. Okay. I like it. We're probably gonna die. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. We're going out into the ocean on a tiny boat. We're so gonna die. Let's see where the world tree is coming from. Let's see if we can go around this way. Yeah, excellent. Ah, it's actually not that deep. I mean, I can still see the ground. It's not all that, that terrible. Let's go where the wind brings us. <laughs> okay. This is scary pants. Oh my god, I can't see the ground anymore. Oh no, I can. I can. It's still there. It's still there. It's not as scary at all. It's not that bad. It's a lovely day. It's a bit slow, obviously. But we can see on the map we're doing okay. We're kind of following the shore a little bit. Actually, let's go completely across and just see if we can find a new world. See you later, island. You sucked. <laughs> I'm naked in the middle of the ocean. How far is this ocean? Okay, it's getting a bit scary actually. Ah! Oh, genie Mac, that was just the noise of the. Oh, my balls. That was just the noise of the ocean. Holy crap, Apple. Oh, there's a big island over there. Ah, uh, don't talk about Subnautica. Come on, that's scary puns. I can't see the I can't see the um, ocean floor, which is scary. But there's an island actually there, so we're we're safe. We're safe. There's an island right across. We're safe. No big deal. No big dealio. Don't talk about Leviathans. It's not Subnautica. Though we are kind of on a toothpick like right now, so... 
But there's an island over there. How far away are we from our island? That's actually not that far. Our island is just here. Let's see if we can aim for this one over there. It's pretty peaceful. It's nice. Is there any bandits here, actually? Like any pi Oh, whoa! Oh, an island! Cool! Awesome! Let's check this out. Oh my god, we're going underwater. No, we're not. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Okay, let's see if we can get to this island and then we're just gonna put the sails down and we should be safe. Okay, I'm regretting now I don't have tools with me because in case there's any rare resources or something. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, there's some... What is that? Snails or something. Okay, let's go a little bit sideways. Oh, crap. Okay, it's all the way in. Okay. Ah! Okay, can we jump off the boat? Ah! Yes, we made it! It has trees. What is this? Oh, I have no tools on me now. I regret everything. Okay, what is this? Okay. Okay, this island is pretty boring. There's nothing on it, except for these things. Why did I not take a pickaxe with me? Oh, crap. Is it getting dark? Oh, no, you're kidding me. I'm I'm out. No, jeez. I don't want to be on the water when it gets scary pants weather. Okay, this island has... Oh, crap! No! No! I have no energy! Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? There. Whew! Okay, everything is good. Everything is good. Let's go. Okay. Um. No, it's gonna crash right into that. Oh my balls. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the other island. This is such a weird island. Okay, come on. Oh, the wind is going right opposite us. That is so not cool. I can't get away from this island. I'm not a nautical engineer. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Come on. There has to be. Come on. Why is the wind not turning? Ow. Okay, we're gonna die. We just have to get kind of past this island and then we're gonna be okay. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Okay, we're not moving right now. That's that's not good. Okay, let's see if we can go a little bit over to the left. This is so scary, pants. Yeah, we have to go to the left somehow. So that the wind is kind of blown into us, I think. Oh, my balls. <laughs> yeah, I would be sick as a dog as well. Come on, turn a little more. Turn a little more. Just turn a little more. Okay, he doesn't turn. So I don't know what to do now. Because I cannot turn anymore for the wind to catch, to, to catch the sail. I'm not really sure how to turn the boat now if the wind is literally not blowing. I don't I don't know what to do. We're not moving really fast. I mean you would think if I'm moving left that the wind is blowing me to the left. I mean you would think that the wind is blowing me to the left. Never say things can't get any worse. <laughs> mm. 
we're moving very slowly forward so that's okay it's just the the way the wind is end of story it's just the way it is there we go now we're rolling sweet okay so we're just gonna go towards this island now that's in front of us that I can see I can see trees Let's go. Wow. Yeah, I should have brought a pickaxe with me. I was just afraid of losing everything. Oh, so basically, if the wind is right in front of you, you keep the sail up a little bit more so it doesn't blow you. Okay, I get it, I get it. How is he not dead of, of hypothermia or something at this stage? can see the trees we're getting closer why is the island that we were on not on the map that is so weird okay there we go we can I can see the island to my right but it won't let me <laughs> it won't let me turn maybe we get the sail a little bit further up so we can keep straight because I want to get to the island we're gonna miss the whole island I think Are we gonna we can swim I suppose we could swim if we get close enough we can just abandon boat and swim across I mean, it has trees. I'm sure we can find some branches and build everything from scratch over there. It's just taken very, very slowly. Because it's a giant sea turtle, what do you mean? A sea turtle? Are you kidding me? Like the thing we were on was like it had a tree on its back. Like it, like it was. Um, I don't think there's modular shipbuilding, but you can unlock bigger ships. Okay, now we're just back in the no-fly zone. Okay, we're gonna have to get closer. We can't jump into the water yet. Okay, I can hear noises from the forest trees, so there has to be a way of getting into the forest. I can see more trees there. No, they're too far away. We're literally going away from the island because the wind is pushing us into a wrong direction. Ah, damn it. Fighting the wind is like so pointless. Unless the wind is turning, that would be great. Okay, if we can keep going this way, that would be great. That's where the... That's where my bloody island was. But it's literally where the wind is coming from, so there's no way in hell we're going to be able to get there. And I don't know if there's another island here. Well, at least we're exploring. We're exploring the seas. <laughs> I took a hammer with me and that's it. Oh, actually I had an axe. I could have chopped down the tree. I completely forgot I had an axe. So change to one hour forward for going against the wind. Oh, okay. Cool. If that works, then I'm not going to argue with that. Because that would be absolutely brilliant. Because then we could get there where the trees are. If we get closer, I'm not sure. It doesn't look... Oh, okay, yeah, we're moving a little bit. We're moving ever so slightly. 
So let me see here. We're gonna die here. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we are moving. You're right. Oh, it says Black Forest, Ocean, Black Forest. Oh, nice. Oh, Black Forest might not be actually the best to be in, but hey-ho. It's better than nothing. So this way he's using the pa oh whoa 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 this way he's using the paddle okay I get it now so this way he's using the paddle more otherwise it's using the sail and if it's using the sail obviously the wind is going to be pushing it you know away that makes sense oh nice now we have the wind actually behind us so sails up I would say. right into the forest sweet oh I can see the land I can see the land but it's the black forest so we're probably gonna die <laughs> little bit of gas little bit of brake it's like my first car no power steering okay just just a little bit turn the wheel turn the wheel turn the wheel turn <laughs> oh man this is scary I'm gonna be dead I'm gonna get to the shore and I'm gonna be dead before I get ah oh, look at that <laughs> the guys are already waiting for me on shore they're already waiting for me okay we're gonna have to leg it <laughs> oh pick up stones pick up stones yes 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 there we go pick up stones and can we smack small trees no we can't why not no no oh hang on hang on hang on there we go there we go there we go I uh, give me a resin so I can make a torch okay good 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 Let's just head a little bit inland and see if we can find anything of interest. Is this copper? Is this copper? Is this copper ore? No. What is this? Why is there light? Oh, a thistle? Oh, cool. We found new material. That is worth it. What is this? Oh, that's just stone. Okay. Probably should smack a little bit more tree. What the hell is that? Okay. Ah! Why is there all these noises? Ah, skeleton. Okay, that's okay. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Skelly. Oh, my balls. What was that big creature? Are you kidding me? Okay, maybe we should explore our island first a little bit more. A troll? Are you kidding me? Darox, how are you? There's trolls in this game. Oh, my balls. Oh, I feel so much safer here. <laughs> well, I'm not going to go back to get any of my stuff, which is absolutely fine. But yeah, I don't like the raft. So the raft, I'm not sure. Oh, you dream of a great tree reaching out through the night. One half of its branches crackle with flames. The other are green with leaves. Is that the tree boss we have to fight? Trolls are kind of the norm. They're dragons too. Oh wow. I wanna I wanna ride a troll on a dragon. I want the dragon to I want the troll to saddle up on the dragon and I want to saddle up on the troll. 
That that would be the ultimate. Yeah, that would be sweet. Okay, so I think let's um, get our stuff back. I would say. Um, and get this back. Get this back. Here's the pickaxe. Excellent. And our normal arrows. Beautiful. And some food. And that's it. So, on this island we have enough to do still. So if we look at here, we have... It's, it told us that... Uh, let's go to the treasure, actually. It told us that... We have to find something underground, so I'm not sure what that means. Does it mean we have to randomly dig around? Elvis, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Um, snow Mountain has dragons. Wow. The snow biome. I mean, it would be good to probably, you know, uncover the whole island here first. So this is apparently where you can have treasures. Ah, genie mac dudes, dudes, dudes. What are you doing? Wow. Okay, we have so much so many volunteers trying to kill themselves. Wow. Okay, thank you. So right here, this stone formation is um, something which apparently has treasure. So let's have a little look around. There's water here, so let's dig around a little bit. Ah, look at that, there's a chest. Silver necklace, oh. A ruby. And fire arrows, nice. Is there any more? Still goes all the way to the back there, so it would be good to see if there's more. Oh, skeletal remains. Oh, nice! We get bones. That is sweet. Yeah, let's get that big rock as well. Yeah, there's a dungeon in the Black Forest. Yeah, so I'm assuming that's what it means. Like, we have to find a dungeon in the Black Forest. Okay. The Black Forest is horrible to navigate. There's so many trees. But I suppose it would be good to um, at least have a look through and do a quick run through. Come on. There we go. One more piece. How are we doing on weight? We're doing okay. That's broken now. Okay, let's go repair it. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to start working on the base because even if we can't put a roof on, we can already designate the areas in the base for different types of storage or something. So let's put this away. There we go. And put this away as well. And we have one more meat we can cook. There's only one chest per formation. Okay. Oh, no, they won't collapse. The, um, so if you dig underneath the tree, the tree will just keep falling and falling and falling. But it won't actually break until you destroy the tree. Okay, so let's head over here to the Black Forest again. 
And this time we go we won't go mining because we have to find whatever it is it wants us to find. We're just gonna go through the black forest and try to avoid any danger zone. I hope we're not gonna attract a whole group of fifty numpties again. So I can do it here, but ah oh crap, I never repaired my Oh do you know what? Oh, I can't do it here because it has to be covered by a roof. Yeah, this is the one thing that annoys me a little bit, that I, w I wish you could take some materials with you and repair your items with materials, but at least it's free when you're on a workbench. And I suppose you could build, like... Come on. That's why I keep pressing the wrong button. Can we get neck meat? No. Okay, we're gonna go out a bit and then we're gonna dig underneath the tree, but so far none of the trees actually um, exploded as they dropped down. Oh, this is another formation here. Hang on. This is another treasure. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put a note on the map. So if I go underneath here now, the tree will just keep falling down and that's it. It won't actually crash until you hit it. Yeah, you can build torches to avoid getting lost. That's actually a good idea. We just need some resin. We have one resin. We get some resin from these guys here, I think. Or we can, anyway. Yeah. Charlie Wallace, I'm glad you liked the videos. Oh, nice. Two for one. Give me a neck. Oh, sweet. We got two, two neck tails. Okay, now we're in the Black Forest. So the Black Forest area is a bit so-so because it's very hilly. It's very hard to see more than two steps ahead. So let's stay near the... Oh, no, that's the ocean. It goes all the way around, so we have to go here. Okay, we're going to have to move inland. This is where my other chest is. Very good. We can't use it. Can we use that tree? Hang on a second. Um, oh, there's mushrooms. Nice. Oh, more mushrooms. Okay. So mushrooms. Are br this one gives us 20 stamina for 600 seconds. And this one is 600 seconds, 20 stamina. It's the same. No difference. Ah, crap. don't really want to deal with you so we're gonna walk this way ah these trees let's see if we can find a dungeon okay this is the edge of the forest tree this is the edge of the forest uh, of the black forest on this side so let's stay here to the right oh what is this is that more ore no it's not it looks suspect though, doesn't it? Is there anything beneath? Is that stone? Is that just stone? Oh, it is just stone. Okay. Ah, I 
Machado is dodging past him. There we go, nice. Wow, look at those mountains. Snow! Oh, wow. Enzo, good night. Also, troops from combat uh, night. Enzo, um, as you may walk right to scare them away. Um, it's just rocks. Black Forest, home to ham and cake. Oh, yeah, we have three beehives at our main home. So uh, I'm just trying to build a main hop here. But down here, we actually have already um, a little mini base where we have like beehives, you know, um, everything set up. So this is more snow biome. So this the black forest is not all that big. Oh, more copper. Nice. Okay, so here's another copper deposit. Oh, there's a structure here. Let's see what we have. Is there any chests? There's no secret dungeons either. It's not a very big black forest, isn't it? It's actually rather small. Oh, yes! Here we go, we have more of those thistles. or oh, pine! Oh, we got a trophy! Nice! Yeah, let's see if we can get some pine trees, actually. See what we get from pine trees. Oh wow! We just unlocked a whole set of stuff. That is awesome. What did we just all unlock? I don't know. I have to check back at the base. But yeah, what is this? Oh, core wood. Perfect for building log cabins. Oh, that is nice. So pine trees is probably something we want to get more of. Maybe we should make a little mini base here. Huh. Okay. Still want to explore a little more. It says that we should look underground, so... Oh, what is this? Oh, carrot seeds, nice! So the black forest has carrot seeds. Yeah, let's see if we can go underneath here. This is all a bit suspect. Um... If you hit block just as as the attack is about to hit, you'll parry them instead. Stones them briefly. Oh, nice. Make the stark breaker. Yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, there's a rune. Hang on a second. What does the rune say? Maybe it gives us a tip on how to find dungeons or whatever. That's, that other stuff. Oh, crap. That's a lot. That all who read me beware of the gray dwarves, the sculptors. Oh, I already read that. Yeah, when the souls of murder... Yeah, okay. They come out at night. They like, don't like fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, core wood, I mean, I think I'm up to four outposts. Stark is the best early game AoE damage. Nice. Deep in the low and foul parts of the Black Forest lies doors to the underworld. Ooh. 
Okay, they, we have to find it. I mean, does every black forest definitely have a dungeon? Because this is a very small black forest we have here. It's not very big. It literally finishes here. Well, maybe it goes a little bit on here on that side, but... Oh, it does actually. Just a, just a little bit. Eat. Oh, there's a wooden structure. Okay. It's interesting. What do we have here? How are we doing on weight? Yeah, we're quite overweight, actually. We, we should probably make a little... Oh, what is this? <gasps> there's some blue dust. Oh, crap. Is that a base of... Oh, okay, okay, okay. We might have found a base. Okay, kill it. Kill it on sight. Like that. I know it hit me a few times, but that was okay. I just wanted to make sure I kill everybody else. There we go. Nice. We're getting really barbaric now. I love it. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? It's like a tower. Deer hide. Nice. Ah. Just sitting here, killing everything. There's a chest. Nice. Ah, feathers. Some bows. Oh, and that's it. Okay. So it's not all that amazing, really. Black, uh, Black Forest dungeons will be obvious when you see them. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a snow biome now. Let's have a little peek. I'm assuming snow biome is like full of other creatures, like wolves maybe? I think somebody mentioned wolves to me before. So maybe we don't want to go too far down into it. Let's stay at the outskirts here. Okay, that's the same with the, uh, the gray dwarves. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. That is not fair that he was able to hit me and I wasn't able to hit him. Yeah, we should make our way to go back home. I want to see what that glowing thing was, though. There was another tower here, but it was glowing. Yeah, this tower there. Loads of thizzle as well. So let's actually stay a little bit hidden away. Oh, it probably was the thizzle that was um, glowing. Okay, we need some stamina. Okay, I can hear skeletons, I think. Come on. Oh, you're stuck. Well, if you're stuck... Ah, you're hiding away. There we go, there's one. Okay, fine. There we go, nice. Okay. 
see what we have up here. Can we get up here? Not really the easiest to walk up. Nope. Can't get up there. Nope. Here another skelly here somewhere. Is that another copper vein? No. I feel cold, I know. So the black forest is actually rather large. I don't know if I should be here at night though. So. Okay, I think it's time to go. Crap. How oh, where's our home? Okay, let's go. I thought it was a very small black forest originally. Is that copper? There's another copper deposit, yes. Okay, we're gonna have to find more possible dungeons. Oh, is this copper as well? Oh my lord, there's so much copper here. I mean, we're actually very close to the normal forest here, so I think we probably should try to... Now, uh, mining a little more actually makes no sense. We're going to have to see what the other things is that we unlock, the other tools and the other building materials. And then we should see if um, we can make some of the new toys. And what I'm going to do then is actually uh, after this stream, so for the next episode, which I probably will record as standard, I probably will finish before then the layout of the of the base like the the ground floor just the the plate so i will even all the ground to make sure that we have a good solid base uh, the grind is actually really fun to be honest i have to admit it's it's a bit like seven days to die to me where i just really enjoy the grind Oh, we can't pick that up. We're going to be overburdened. Yeah, we're full. Oh, we can... How much is wood? Uh, two, yeah, we can't carry two. The darkest forest you're in might be too small. Yeah, it actually, it was a little bigger than I thought. Originally, I thought the black forest was only this area here. But it does go out all the way to here. So it could still continue a little bit here. And we haven't looked into this area. So I think this here is normal forest again. And the black forest kind of circles around it here, I think. So we could theoretically find something in here, all right. But I think all that long long-term exploring... I might do um, between episodes of streams. I mean, this will be officially episode three. Um, ep yeah, episode three of that stream. And it's probably going to go live tomorrow evening. And um, so anybody who hasn't seen the stream yet is going to see it probably 24 hours later nearly. Oh, crap. We're being attacked. Oh, no. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Okay. And there's a brute. The oh, and a healer. Ah, 
Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. We have to get the healer. I think it's a healer anyway. Green is usually healing. Oh, he hits twice. Okay, we're nearly dead. This guy's gonna kill us. Okay, we're gonna have to move into... Come on. Do we have fire arrows? Not on us. Stop destroying my workbench. Okay, that's it. Okay, come on, come on. Get the stamina, 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 stamina. have to take our time so what did you say about the parry let's see if we can time one ah oh, you bastard oh come on I hit right through him There we go, nice. <laughs> you little bastard. You thought you got me, you got nothing on me. Okay. Let's see. I have probably my chest completely unorganized, but that's okay for now. Um food, bah, I don't even know. Oh, we got some carrot seeds as well. That's nice. Let's just go through everything, see what stacks. Probably nothing. Okay. And anything in here? Let's go pick up everything else. Let's see if we got any new drops. Oh, we got a trophy collected from a prude. Nice. Okay. Cool. Let's repair the workbench. Thank you. Oh, this is still green, yeah. I see. Whoa. Okay, what do we have on us? Trophies, okay. So let's actually see in the workbench what we can craft now. Check it out. So what is the new stuff now that we have? Um, the stack breaker. Okay, we actually have... Oh, we, we might have that. I'm not really sure. We'll see. Did we get 20 core wood? I don't think so. And a flint spear. That's old. So the stack breaker is new. And what else is new? Oh, look at that. Log beams. Oh, sweet. We need them because that is how we're going to make the real big centerpieces in our longhouse. Okay, sweet. Anything else? We didn't have anything for level 4 workbench? No. Okay. That's actually pretty awesome. So, yeah, we, we're going to have to do a nice wood grind. So, what we're going to do is we're going to build a nice little um, rest base with a workbench. Something small like this, basically. Very easily built. And we're going to build that near the Black Forest. 
and that way we can start gathering a lot of stuff just dump it all in the black forest base or near the black forest base like lots of chests just to dump everything we're going to be basically doing these type of things just dump everything and then we can slowly start bringing it over as we need to definitely yeah i think that sounds like a plan how much of that special core wood do we have that's normal wood Oh, we only have 13. Okay, we need 20 for that. The Stark Breaker. Yeah. All right. I think we should definitely finish this here. So what I'm going to do is, between this episode and the next one, as I said, I'm going to dra uh, drag out all these 9 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 by 7 area. Or 9 by 12, sorry. 7 by 12 area. And at least get it all leveled that the ground looks nice. And I'm going to make a little bit of room outside around it. And then we can actually work on building the base next um episode yeah i think that makes sense and these neck i have to get different foods the food is awful right now that i have but anyway i think that's a great idea um so let me know in the comments guys even if you watch the stream and um, as soon as you are able to add comments to the stream you know do it um anything you can think of especially black forest so otherwise the tasks i'm going to do between episodes is trying to look for the dungeon and mark it on the map if i find it um so I can do death runs where I just go naked and look around or whatever, like, you know, and if I die, I die, just to explore the area a little bit. And I'm going to prepare this, our longhouse here, the, the blueprints. And now that we actually can use core wood and we can actually make these beams here because they are in th these beams are actually very important. And then we can also start looking at making stake walls and all that. They're very cheap. They're only for wood. So, which are good defense, and uh, we might be able to even build pillars on the side of them if we can to shoot down at the guys that are attacking us or whatever. We'll see. We have to make some proper defenses. So, yeah, I'm going to leave the stream here. Thank you very much, guys, for joining the stream. If you're watching it on YouTube, um, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge pass. And happy gaming. And for the guys on stream, thank you again very much um, for joining the stream and hanging out. And again, any comments that you can leave to um, as tips, what we should do next. Because the raft is something I don't want to do right now. That really scared the pants off me and it's very hard to control. So I would like to go to that little island though that we saw that you guys said was a massive turtle apparently. Just to see if we can hack those barnacles off and see what we're going to get for it or what we can unlock. But that's a different story for another day. But otherwise, thank you so much. And um, yeah, I see you guys probably for the next stream on YouTube next week, Saturday, or maybe tomorrow, Sunday. We'll see. All right. Good night. Bye-bye.